the set. The second one would be the Titanic. She would have a lifespan of only a week, of less than a week. Her main voyage started in Liverpool, Liverpool, England, and was supposed to um, make stops at Cherrick, France, in Queenstown, Ireland, and then its final stop in New York before returning home. There were many people aboard the Titanic. There were some pr prestigious people like Major Art Bulbutt, the, the Taft's military aide, um, Charles Hayes, the rural millionaire John Jacob Astor III, son of a fur trader from that two period, then the richest man in the world, but mostly it was immigrants who were hoping to make new start in America. Well, it successfully made three of its stops, but as it sta sailed, sailed into t an eternity, on April 14, 1912, at 11.40 p.m., Frederick Freight relays the message to the bridge, Iceberg, dead ahead. Uh, Moody relays the message, and Murdoch, First Officer Murdoch, oars the wheel hard as starboard and the engine's full astern, but it's too late. The Titanic goes to the left of the iceberg and receives a fatal lash in her starboard side. Within two and a half hours, she was sink to the bottom at the cost of 1,522 men, women, and children. Ready. Hello? Who? I'm sorry, you may have misunderstood. It was the Titanic, not the Santa Maria. Well, anyways, the, the Titanic... the Titanic was at the bottom of the North Atlantic. And now with the 705 survivors in 20 lifeboats, less than the half number needed, the lifeboats sailed to Carpathia, which had received their message a little Well, after the Carpathia arrived to New York with its precious cargo, there were inquiries, both the American and the British inquiries, to find out exactly who was at fault. They were agreeable on everything except for um, the captain. The American inquiry was saying that the captain, Edward J. Smith, a veteran of 20 years who was taken the Titanic on her last on our main, vo our main voyage as a retirement gift, and then um, according to the Americans, Smith was completely at fault for what he did. He didn't. He ignored the, ignored the ice warnings. Drove too fast. Basically, countless, countless complaints against him. But according to the British, they could find nothing wrong with um, Captain Smith's credibility that he was a competent sailor and that um, he, he was very much experienced and he knew what he was doing. Well, anyway, there have been many movies of the Titanic. The most recent, Raise the Titanic, based on a novel by Kai Puzzler. 
no ship in history has, at, has ever been talked about more than the Titanic. And for 73 years, people have dreamed of finding her and then raising her, but it wasn't until 1980 that the technology to do this was possible. A Texas oil millionaire named Jack Wren tried in 1980, in 1981, and in 1983 in three different ships and with two of the best scientists he could find from the country. But the problem was, he didn't know what he was doing, not following a random pattern, didn't know he, where he should, should look, didn't put enough faith in the scientists, and he had weather problems, so the Titanic remained to be found. Everybody thought that um, flying the ship would be impossible, but on August of one of the world's leading marine geologists and a friend of mine decided to take up the challenge. His name was Dr. Robert D. Ballard. He had pre previously had led expeditions to um, explore the for the Galap Galapagos Rift, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and several other expeditions. But none was more enticing to Bob Ballard than, than to fi find this wreck. He had previously wanted to find the wreck in 1977. He was going to use a ship named the Sea Pro. But when he, when he tested it, the thing crashed. And unfortunately, there was a lot of boat equipment. And so, um, th thanks to insurance, they were able to cover it but he was forbidden from ever to officially look for the Titanic again. Uh, yes, he did. There's been some conflicting um, messages to how he died. There's one um, saying that he committed suicide. Another one, he just went to totally down the ship. Another one, he puts a child aboard a lifeboat and then gets washed overboard. Uh, sir, are you still there? Sir? Well, as I was saying about Dr. Robert Ballard, because of the major mishap with the Sea Pro, he was willing to go unofficially for the Titanic with the help of the French French um, institution named in Freemer. And Freemer and their ship was the Lisa Royt, and they searched 80% of the search area but found nothing. But then Ballard's crew on board the Nor explored the remaining 20%. It was towards the end of the expedition they pretty much had given up. But on September 1st, 1985, at 1 a.m., a wreckage appeared and then finally a boiler. Titanic had 29 of them and they could possibly identify that this had definitely belonged to the Titanic. This sled that they used to explore the wreck was named the Argo, and with the help of the Argo, they were able to sweep the wreck, which had broken, broken in two pieces as it went down with debris scaled over a large area. During this first expedition, they originally thought two sacks were still up, but uh, the next expedition would prove otherwise. Yeah, this expedition cool. in 1986 
in July was in service spread was done by a manned submarine named Alvin and underwater robot named Jason Jr. With the help of these two unmanned submersibles, they went down the Titanic and were able to um, exp explore the wreck and were got sophisticated photographs of it. They've gotten pictures of chandeliers. They've disproven that, um, that it had two stacks. And they confirmed their hypothesis that it was split into two pieces, 900 feet apart. And between the two wrecks were several items, china, um, silverware, more heavy equipment, coal, and thanks to Dr. Ballard had launched this expedition not to explore the Titanic, although he found that fun. It was to um, test a robot which would hopefully bring new meaning to science to actually um, send just unmanned submersibles because of the problem we have with man, the possibility of implosion, that is, the outside pressure crushes you. I mean, like, the tit when you go down the Titanic, that three tons of pr pressure per square inch, that's a weight of a car in an area the size of a postage stamp. And also, um, you c can't spend that much time in man's submersibles. And um, only the, pe the only people that can see it are the people who are actually in the submarine. But with a man submersible, the only thing that's a risk is the submersible itself no human risk whatsoever. It can stay at the bottom indefinitely, and it can it can allow everybody on the ship ship to enjoy it. But, but let's not get back. Let's not get off of our subject. In nineteen, there's other tragic news about the Titanic. In in nineteen eighty seven, the French ship not. Nautil was sent to the bottom of the North Atlantic to bring up artifacts from the Titanic. Bob, thousands and thousands of artifacts, even though survivors and Doc, Dr. Ballard especially had protested against using it. And just as then President Reagan was in the process of negotiating a treaty with several countries to keep the wreck an international memorial. Now, I have no idea if the current president, George Bush, is, will come through on this treaty, but I urge you to keep on the news to find out if this will happen. Now, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our two sister ships. The Olympic for Starters was built 10 months before the Titanic, and unlike the Titanic, its promenade deck was not enclosed, but Unclosed low air in. It has successfully completed 24 years. And as I said earlier, it served as a true transport and earned the, earned the nickname Old Reliable by um, spotting a German submarine, German U boat, and it crashed right in U boat, thus sinking it. Another um, case in the Olympic was when it came about the mind strike at Audacious. The, this was a British naval ship which was um, sinking. The Olympic, although um, experts agree, agree that it was rather stupid, but the captains stayed long enough to um, bring up people in spite of warnings of German subs in the area and the Olympic, which was just slightly smaller than the, the Titanic, would have made a prize. But fortunately, she was not, not harmed, and she met, managed to bring most of the people aboard the eight audacious aboard. And then they tried to tow her, but they were unsuccessful, and they cut the line and it sank. So. In 1916, the third and final um, ship would be named the Britannic. The Britannic 
was being fitted out for um, passenger service when it just got word that um, Britain had just given um, Germany a decla decla declaration of war. And then um, the British, Ger British government took over the, the Britannic for use as a hospital ship. The ho as a hospital ship, she served less than a year um, taking um, wounded soldiers to and fro on two, two areas. But um, in November, just one year, after, less than one year after being in service, in the right-hand corner of the Mediterranean Sea, known as the Aegean Sea, she either struck a mine or was torpedoed off Athens, and within minutes she sank to the bottom. A weird stroke of irony is that the Britannic was more well-built than the Titanic, and yet they both had the same kind of wound and the Titanic took two and a half hours, and yet the Britannic only took 14 minutes. One of the theories for this is that, um, that she had not closed her watertight doors, and she was in violation of order, orders to do this. Another footnote to the Titanic tragedy is the is a man named Frank Luck Towers. This man has claimed to survive both the, both the Titanic, the Lusitania, and the Empress of Ireland. We've, experts have been able to confirm the Lusitania and the Empress of Ireland, but they believe the Titanic was just a hoax by him, but this has never been confirmed. What I'm saying is, it may be and it may not. So. And while I still have some time left, let me talk to you about other steamship tragedies that have happened. The Lusitania, who, which was a British passenger vessel, which had successfully completed six years' service. And was, um, had thrice, three times had won the blue ribbon, a covered, uh, covered. <laughs> A covenant ribbon which was given to the fastest ship in the world. On in May 1915, the Lusitania was sa sailing through um, through the English Channel, thinking that she was too fast. She was given specific orders to go top speed, follow zigzag pattern, and f go mid channel. But instead, she Cruise liturgy, hugged the headlands. Hello? Um, yeah, I was wondering, is the Titanic nuclear powered? Um, no, this was, um, during the turn of the century. Well, I saw on, um, the hunt for Red October, this one underwater submarine was powered by some silent, mm -hmm. um, drive. Mm hmm Is that the same as the t Titanic? Um, no, it wasn't. Um, it was operated on coal burners. Um, could, if the Titanic went underwater, um, could, would the people still live? Is there, could they, like, lock themselves in a chamber and live? Um, this, that was a two and a half mile trip. I don't see how. No, it was only two and a half miles? It was a two and a half miles down. Oh, oh yeah? Would they, like, be crushed if they were that far Yeah, there was three tons of pressure per square inch, but experts say it was the coal, coal got them long before the pressure did the coal? Yeah, this was um, during a particular cold night. Oh, Remember I said oh. there was an iceberg. Oh, did they like get icicles on them or something? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the people got icicles on them? No, they, there were a few that got icicles on them, but yes, c cold killed most of them. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you. Sure. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, as I was saying, the Lusitania had disobeyed orders, and I was just within within sight of safety, and then um, a G German U-boat appeared out of nowhere and fired a, t a torpedo at, at the Lusitania's starboard bow. There was an explosion, and then a second explosion, which experts had been unable to confirm what was the cause of. Originally, they said it was a second torpedo, but Others said it was a coal explosion or um, 
there were rumors that she was carrying gunpowder, but that would that has never been confirmed. But whatever the cause, the Lusitania was gone tw in 12 minutes. Well, 12,000 people, 1,200 people had lost their lives, 128 of them Americans. This um, act, although did not drive Woodrow Wilson, then president, to um, go to war with Germany, but it led him to that path. And now I'd like to talk to you about the man who found the wreck of the Titanic, Dr. Robert Ballard. He has he has been my pen pal for since 1988, and he's, as I told you, expeditions to Project Famous, to Pacific Ridge, and two years ago he also found and explored the Bismarck, which was a German battleship from the Second World War, and after just nine, after a nine-day mission, she was either scuttled or sunk by enemy fire. Unlike the Titanic, the Bismarck was found at the bottom of the North Atlantic, intact, except for, for the loss of her four main turrets, Anton, Bruno, Caesar, and Dora, and also um, lost some of her superstructure. But otherwise, she looked as much as she did during her heyday. And Dr. Ballard has also starred in the Jason Project, which was st which originally started in 89. He first started with the Mediterranean in 1990, was Lake Ontario, and this coming December, a National Geographic Explorer, he's going to explore the Galapagos Islands, seven sites, completely unknown territory. Now let's get back to the Titanic, of uh, some footnote. I re when I read a book recently, I found out the person who headed the American Next was Will William Smith, was a senator from Michigan, and he was a lawyer in guess where? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yet from this very city he came and he was the head head of the committee which was going to investigate the tit the Titanic tragedy and who was at fault. And some Hello? Hi. Hi. Um did the Titanic take off from England or the United States? From England. Okay, and like, where did it take off from? Um, from Liverpool. Okay, and like, on the trip, you know, did like, what year was this that it sank again? Lusitania. Pardon? The torpedo was about the Lusitania. Or I'm talking about the Titanic. Oh, okay. What year did it sink and hit the bottom? Um, 19, in 1912. Alright, and then like, <clears throat> so this was like during World War One, right? No, this was, World War One didn't start until two years afterwards. Oh, so like there couldn't have been, they, they're they positive that like an iceberg hit it? Um, there's been talk about a boiler explosion, but that's already been discounted, but... Oh, and you really know that diver who searched for it? Searched for what? Yeah, or no, the other one. Um... Ballard? Yeah. Oh yes, I've been exchanging letters with him for about a few years now. I've already gotten seven letters from him. Oh, did you ever go diving with him? No, I wanted to though. Oh. Okay, well, I'll check you out later, bud. Okay. Give her. Okay, bye. And the sad truth about the Titanic was that the, that most of the people who died on her were steerage passengers, that is, immigrants, who I said earlier were coming to America for a new life. And because a captain's ignorance, they were cheated out of a chance to find their fortunes in the country. What? <laughs> Thing was, um, only the wealthy had a sh shot the lifeboats. The steerage passengers could not get anywhere near them until most of them had already been launched. And plus, they were not that well organized. Well? Yes, could you tell me how many people was it that actually died on the Titanic? Um, there's no, um, 
it's, it's no confirmed um, number, but experts place it at 1,522. Oh, okay. And no one survived that? Oh, there were 705 survivors. Oh, was it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, thank you. This is a very interesting program. Thank you. Now the crew knew, crew knew what they were doing. They didn't know anything about launching lifeboats. They didn't know um, how to get people in lifeboats. And plus, there weren't that many. A lot of them were launched half full. And that very much complicated the disaster. And here's something that's going to hit you sick. Bruce, J. Bruce Ismay, the chairman of the White Star Line, which owned Titanic, was aboard the Titanic to see how she was going. Whereas most people in authority had stayed on board, board to drown, he disguised himself as a woman and stuck on one of the lifeboats. And to this day, he's good for his cowardice. But there have been many, as I've said, said there have been many movies and many books um, written by, by my parents.